Time to grow with Sharice. Hey guys, coming to y'all with an awesome mukbang today. Today is my first mukbang back since having VSG surgery a month and a half ago, almost seven weeks now. And today I'm coming to y'all with some awesome muscles. Yes, I cooked these muscles myself, okay? And they came out awesome. Awesome. Let me make sure y'all can see them. Um, yeah, y'all can see them. But I just wanted to come and eat with y'all real quick. Today I'm going to have a quick story time. Quick video. Um, that's about it. Okay. I would say I'm drinking on some H2O, but I'm not because I got to eat first, then drink. Hmm. Sad thing about VSG. So y'all know I won't eat much, but who cares? We're going to eat and talk. Let's eat and talk. That's what we come to do. Okay. Let me show y'all one up close. Mm-hmm. Okay, I can't show one up close. Oh, well. Anyway, so I hope y'all enjoy this video. On this, I have some sautéed onion. Let me see. Okay, I'm learning how to do this camera, y'all. So, anyway. So, on here, I have some sautéed onion some with some butter. Can't believe it's not butter. And I also have some uh, Fiesta cheese. And, you know, it's not light cheese, but okay. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. But first, we got to give God some glory, y'all. Okay? Dear Lord, in my name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, for this food covered in your blood as I eat it. In my name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. All right. I'm ready, y'all. First muscle. Mmm. 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 That onion stuff is so good. Mmm. Mmm, that's real good. All right. Just to bring a little flavor, I got some Louisiana hot sauce and a little extra, can't believe it's not butter, if I need some. I'm going to learn how to do this focus thing, y'all. I don't know how, but I'm going to learn, okay? <laughs> All right. So what's been up, everybody? Leave me some comments down below. Let me know what y'all have been doing, okay? Oops, not too much. Mmm, mmm. Oh, that's good. Mmm. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. I hooked that up. Okay. Well, the name of the story, Tommy, is I was almost kidnapped. I was almost, uh, let me see. He tried to kidnap me. <laughs> let me just say that. He tried to kidnap me, but no. But, y'all, so, this story happened before, right before I had surgery. So, as y'all know, I was, uh, walking and doing all kind of stuff since I was trying to have VSG surgery. So, you know, I was trying to exercise and do all kind of other things. But, uh, one day I said, well, I'm going to go ahead and walk to the grocery store, okay? And, mm, that hot sauce make it taste better. Let's put some more hot sauce. But anyway, so I was like, I'm going to walk to the grocery store. So that day, I had been losing weight. I think I had lost like 10, 15 pounds. But I don't know if I was feeling myself or what. But that day I had put on some little short black shorts. And it was warm. It was, you know, springy. And I had put on some, a little cute shirt. So I'm walking to the store. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know if you're like me, but. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. 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 So, I don't know if y'all like me or what, but I always notice my surroundings when I'm walking. It's just what I do, okay? So, I'm walking, and it's a busy street like this, but I'm walking on the sidewalk. And I happen to notice, and this was when everybody was going crazy about the white vans and uh, be careful of the white vans. The white vans was in the parking lot, and they had a woman who was like... Scoping out people for the, um, the, uh, what they call that? Not hell's, high, oh, human trafficking. Okay. Yeah. So, I was like, I seen a big old white van. <clears throat> and it had pulled up. I'm walking in the stop sign behind me. You know, and I'm loaded to my surroundings, but I'm still walking. 
But I noticed the white van, because everybody's talking about the white vans was in Walmart parking lot. White vans, white vans, white vans. So I was like, okay. All right. You know, I noticed it. Okay? Yes. And, but in my mind, I'm like, anybody worry about my old, but they, they, they trying to get human trafficking for, like, young people, you know? Nobody ain't worried about my old, but, but here I go, continue to walk, you know, I'm flossing down to the stuff. Mm-hmm, not out of breath, feeling good, I have been losing weight, and every time, hadn't had surgery yet. Well, back though, so, the car continued past me, the white van, so when it kept going, you know, out of sight, out of mind. I didn't even worry about it anymore, Okay. Look at this. So, as he continued to go, it you know, it left one or whatever. And I continued to walk. Car steadily going. And in front of me, but now on this side, coming up a side street on this side, I'm walking towards it. The white van comes back and turns on my side of the road. So now I'm walking towards the van. He's coming towards me. So, when that happened, I was like, okay. Looking around, I'm serious, I was looking around. And he wasn't going fast, he was going like slow. So I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Like somebody is gonna try to jump out this van and grab me or something, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, mmm. Yeah, that's so good. Mm. So I was like, what can I get, what can I get? I'm looking around, looking around. And I'm walking past a gravel driveway. So y'all, I reached down, as I did, and just grabbed a handful of gravel. <laughs> like this. Mm. And when I grabbed that handful of gravel, I was like, <laughs> baby. So by the time I got the handful of gravel, I'm still walking, you know, and I'm kind of scooting over to the side more. He pulls up on the side of me. It's an older black man. And he was like, Hey, and I said, uh-uh, uh-uh, and I started walking really fast, and that's when, uh, I was like, you better get on, and that's when he had, the car, the van had to stop, but I'm walking still on, and I was like, oh, no, so I got on the phone, and I called my husband, I was like, bang, you know all this stuff going on with human trafficking, and I'm looking back, and eventually he just drove on, and I was like, Lord, he gonna come up behind me, you know, since I'm walking fast, I'm like, bang, you know all this human trafficking going on, that a, a white van just passed me up, and came back, and he stopped, and I didn't know what to do, and I was like, I grabbed a handful of gravel, and I'm, Terrified. I was like, "Babe, you all right?" And I was like, "Yeah, I'm all right." He was like, "Oh, uh, I you know, we just was talking, and I was like hysterical. I'm hysterical. He not hysterical on the phone. He like, you know, you almost the store. I was like, "Yeah, okay, I'm almost the store." So, push comes shove, I make it to the store. The guy in the white van didn't come back. Thank God, I wouldn't have been happy. Okay, uh, I probably would end up fighting or something. Mmm. 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 So, he came back. I mean, he didn't come back. So, I continued to, uh, to the store. So, I get to the store, and when I get there, y'all, I was, like, on the phone with my husband. I had to sit down, because I was, like, so terrified, so shaky. And I was like, why would he even be trying to kidnap my old butt? You know what I'm saying? That's something like... Who wants this old butt? <laughs> so I went to the store and I was sitting down and stuff and that's when this guy came in. He was like, you just walking down the um, road. I see you. He said, uh, big sexy. That's right. I said, so by now, you know, just now having it with this old man and this dude, I'm like grossed out like men are disgusting. Okay. That's the first thing in my mind. I was like, they are disgusting. Ugh. So I walk out the store, continue talking to my husband. I'm like, what's in the water today? What's in these shorts I got on? What's in these shorts I got on? Back door, I go, I get my stuff, and I was like, I don't even know if I want to, like, walk home or what, you know what I'm saying? But it wasn't really work, and it was getting kind of dark, okay? So, I'm walking, walking, walking. Never saw the white van. I mean, we live about a good six blocks. But this was for exercise, plus I wanted to get a few things, like fruit and stuff. So, I get home. I'm talking to my husband about everything. This dude comes out with about five different knives. I was like, which one you want? Like, five little things. He loved like switchblades and stuff and he was like which one you want you need to keep this with you at all times you need to keep this with you at all times and i was like babe you know what i'm saying i'm like in my mind but i'm like entertaining him because i don't even want to think about a knife ever again in my life okay did that did that and i've been yeah i think i've been told that story how i was in domestic by 
end up stabbing and going to jail. Okay? I didn't done that. I'm not doing that again. Okay? So that's out. But what are you supposed to do? So here I was. I was like, man, I was almost a person who was in human trafficking. Somebody tried to kidnap me. You know, over exaggerating. But you never know. So that really freaked me out that day. And then I was so disgusted by these gross men. Y'all look at this. Mm. So good. I saw this recipe for the muscle on a couple of channels. But um, some people put mayonnaise and stuff. Mm -mm. I didn't think I would like that. It would be too creamy. But it's probably good. Have you ever tried uh, your muscles? What I did basically was steam them. And after I steamed them, I uh, took the top shell, I put them on a the pan, I sauteed uh, a little Kerrygold butter with some onions, so it was like, you know what I'm saying, completely. Uh, Y'all, I don't know how to do focus, so it's not focusing at all. Maybe I'll pull it back a little bit. I wish I could do it. I'm going to learn, okay? I am going to learn. But this hot sauce is good. Y'all, I'm getting full. Mmm, and it's so good. Okay. Built onion, carry go, put them in the pan, cheese on top, put a little bit of onion in each one, baked them, and they came out so delicious and bomb. And the recipe comes from YouTube. Uh, this is the little bag of mussels from Walmart, y'all. Yep. I wish I could see it, but stick with your girl. She's learning. But anyway, back to what I was saying about this story. So, yeah. Did y'all actually think, you know what I really come to think about? There's always some, I'm an older chick, okay? So there's always some hmm, older man. Especially if you're wearing some short shorts. They'll be out there on them streets, okay? Trying to see if we can get him a little, a lady for, for the night. If you know what I mean, okay? And I think he was just one of them old men. But he riding around, he riding around trying to holler at women. With a white man, don't he know somebody will beat and shot him? Excuse me, you know, um, I ain't trying to be rude. But yeah, you can't be doing that, boo. Mm -mm. Honey, when I came home, my husband had me ready. Okay, I still got that little knife in my purse. So don't come messing with me. Okay? I'm playing. But y'all, I think I'm getting full, okay? Really. The thing about it, I'm full. Um... Let me see how many that I eat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I ate nine. No, I ate ten. That's pretty good. Mmm. Y'all, this was delicious. I wanted to come and chat with y'all. I'm trying to come back with something else good to eat. Um, I'm not saying I'm back doing mukbangs. I might do mukbangs once a week, maybe every Saturday. But I wanted to come and drop my new camera and also tell y'all I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for sticking with me. Through my journey, through my surgery, through everything. Y'all are awesome. I love y'all. Um, if you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments. If you also, if you need to know anything that's going on with me with my BSG surgery, if you follow me because of my BSG surgery, leave me any kind of comments. I um, any kind of questions and I'll answer them in the next video. If you're new to my channel, hello. How are you? Welcome to the family, to the Grub family. And that's it, y'all. I love y'all so much. Always remember to... Dab on your haters and spark on them. And I will see y'all when the next time it's time to grow up. Bye, y'all.